What's up, everybody? My name is Bryce, aka Dubs Not Subs, and welcome back to another episode of the podcast arc. Now, today, we have another special guest who was supposed to be the first of this whole guest coming back on here, and that is Base Senpai. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, this this guy did. <laughs> Jesus, I did Christ. a number on it, right? I did good. Oh my gosh! Uh, yeah, I was supposed to be on last week, and uh, this kid's toaster. <laughs> couldn't function properly so uh here we are dude okay so i actually have a funny story about a toaster when i worked at when i used to work at chrysler i had uh me and all my friends we tattooed a toaster we they had an engraver so we put a bunch of tattoos on this toaster and now it's in my room and it's like a really hardcore toaster i call it toasty and he has a bunch of tattoos on him he looks awesome wow riveting story i know i thought you would care so that's why i told you this is gonna be a fun podcast isn't it yeah. <laughs> well, all right. First off, before we get into this, please make sure to go down into the description and check out the podcast arc channel. Again, this is going to be the last episode on the Dubs Not Subs channel. So there you get that based. You get to be the last ever guest. Wait, where the heck is it going? It's going on to its own channel because I just don't want this channel to become a podcast channel. So I'm putting making its own podcast arc channel. So hit the link in the description, hit subscribe. If you're wondering why there's no logo and banner, that's because I'm not doing it on this old ass computer because it's going to break down and not work. But we have a lot of stuff to get into. We have a ton of new manga to get to, a ton of new licenses. We got everything. It's going to be a huge week. So let's get into it right off. And that is Manga Plus has officially released Hokkaido Girls Are Super Adorable officially in english for free and this story goes around with high school girl subasa moves to kitama city up in hokkaido where he meets a gal at a bus stop the sight of her standing alone against the white snowscape bare leg despite the freezing code captures his heart now this is a rom-com kind of situation like he says someone moves to hokkaido and i've actually seen this somewhere before before it got released in english and that is on bay senpai's twitter so what do you think about this show or manga yeah, um, this series is pretty wholesome in, in that way. Uh, it obviously looks um, pretty uh, cultured, but it's very um, cute and wholesome. And um, yeah, she's just a country bumpkin, really. She has uh, who's a gal. It's it's a very interesting dynamic. She's very nice. Uh, there's the artwork's fantastic. There's a Nintendo Switch. They're gamers. Not much. Do they have a Nintendo Switch in there? What chapters that show up in? Like seven or eight. They're oh, playing okay. Super Smash Brothers or something on oh, the really? bus. Well, only two chapters are out right now, so that's why I was a bit curious. But, dude, this thing is so sweet. I love this manga so much. It's such a nice read. I think it comes out, yeah, it comes out every Tuesday. So, not tomorrow, next day after that. And, man. It's just a nice, heartwarming series. And what is it? Yeah, officially on Manga Plus for free if you guys want to read it. So, we'll get on to our next series right here. And then we're going to get into the Jump TOC. Well, and... wait, hold the, f- hold the phone, Zoomer. Chill out. Hold what? I mean, this series might get picked up in English, like, print-wise. I don't think... Uh... I think it has a good chance to be... A... This seems this has seven Cs written all over it. I don't see Viz picking this up. Um, Yen Press probably won't. Mate. I don't think I don't see Kodansha picking it up either. Uh, then again, Kodansha doesn't pick up anything good. So um, um, they have Glepner. Point proven. Um, and they anyway. have Grand Blue Dreaming. So yeah, well they have one good title, and it's not Glepner. Attack on Titan. Uh, should I keep going? I can keep going. Listen here, kid. There's <laughs> not a lot of titles that they have that are currently ongoing that aren't going to end in the next two years. So dude, they're going to be in trouble. Out. They're going to be in trouble pretty soon. But yeah, go read this. It's, it's a fantastic series. There's a lot of wholesome romance. I don't th- and uh, the girl's stacked. So she, there you go. She, she definitely is. I don't think it's going to get picked up by 7Cs though because it's already on um, Shonen Jump's Manga Plus app. But I don't know if that's like different licensing issues on there. I don't know exactly how that works. Isn't 2 Love Rue on that? Am I mis- I may be mistaken. No, Two Love. Wait, is Two Love Rue on there? I uh, no, I don't think Two Love Rue is. They have um. Let me look this up. But while we're doing this, do you have anything else you want to add about that, or you want to move on to this jump TLC? No, just read it. I hope it comes out in English or at least gets a print release because I'll buy it. Yeah, I would buy it too. It's actually really nice because I know they have Ayakashi Triangle on here, and that's by the same creator. 
But let's get on to the jump TOC. Oh, yeah, yeah. The jump yeah, TOC. What do you think about this week's jump TOC? So we have, first off, we have a new series that's coming out. We got color pages from Burn the Witch, Black Clover, Undead Unluck, and Homerio Shonen. I probably said that wrong, but that's the new series. And then what do we have at the bottom? Mori King, Yozakura Family, and Gravity Boys. But the thing is, when I saw this a while ago, someone told me that these like actual like, number ranks don't matter for it. So I'm curious to see how it actually Who works. Who said that? Someone in my comments said that it didn't really matter for that. It doesn't uh, show people, how good it's doing. Uh, the people in your comments are actually idiots. So um, let me lay it down on how it actually works. Okay, please tell uh, me. Because I'm so Oda, Oda himself has said that the rankings, while they, not, they might not necessarily be a true def, like definitive indicator on whether a series is doing well or not, they do have... Uh, the TOC rankings do have pull. Essentially, the good series, the ones that are most popular, the ones that are generating the most interest are at the front of the magazine. That is a no-brainer. Uh, how the culture works in Japan is people pick up these magazines for 99 cents and they read them on their way to work. So the good stuff is in the front uh, because usually by the end of the train ride, they're not reading the stuff in the back. Oh. Uh, um, that's at least how I interpret it. Series that are dead last are definitely getting axed. There's no interest for them, and it's it has shown in the past. I mean, every series that's been in the bottom in the past three months has been axed, uh, essentially. I think without maybe a, gra a Gravity Boys and Mori King just is now recently there. I think a Gravity Boys is going to get axed soon. Um, I hope to God it does. But in terms of surprise and stuff, I'm surprised anyone reads Undead Unluck. Like... If you read the first chapter of that and then decided, "Hey, I'm gonna keep reading this," you're kind of you're kind of weird. Um, <laughs> what? It's got a color. I think it has a, a color page this week. It's doing extremely yeah. well, and it won awards. It's, yeah. Well, who cares about awards? Because Mashal is selling more than it, anyways. So. Um, did Mashley rank though in their uh, in the manga sale, like the physical? Yeah, volumes? it did. What it the ranked? second volume did. Oh. Okay. Uh, Top twenty, I believe. Oh, okay. Maybe I think it may be it may be top ten, but I'm not positive. I def it's definitely top twenty when it ranked. No. <laughs> Anyways, the Akashi Triangle is definitely going to stick around because Two Love Rue, the guy, is a cult icon in terms of etchiness. Uh, My Hero Academia, One Piece, Chainsaw Man. Do Chainsaw Man's insane? Do you read it weekly? No, I read the first chapter years oh, ago, shit. and the only reason I read it is because I was the only one advocating Fire Punch in my friend group, oh. and everyone thought it was trash, and I thought it was a hidden gem, and then Chainsaw Man came around. But I, I, I really do not follow week like I do not read weekly. I read two series weekly, uh, and that's it. Oh. Um, but in terms of this, We Never Learn is going to get canceled soon. It's pretty much on its way out. I thought it was in its For last arc anyway. It, it actually ended, but then now they're doing this, like, uh, rewrite thing of, like, doing their... Re <laughs> Essentially, they ended it, and then they decided, you know what? We're just, let's give unique endings to every single one of the girls. So oh, one so girl each won, one wins? Really? One girl won, and then they're like, nah, let's give them all a win. <laughs> and they rewrote, re they, re they rewrote, like, four or five endings, or how many girls there is. So they're in the process of doing that right now, so no one really gives a shit. What the hell? Um... Burn the Witch. Let's be honest. This is four chapters, and the only thing appealing about this is the girls are, like, aesthetically pleasing, and, and that's literally it. I don't think anyone genuinely cares about Burn the Witch, the even thing, Bleach fans. Dude, the thing with this was, when I was confused about it at the beginning, because I've never read Bleach before, I thought that was just, like, a thing I would get because they haven't read it, but apparently a bunch of people were confused from it. It's trash. I don't even, I don't even keep up with it, but the girls... They do look you know nice, what? though. They have a nice character design. But that's literally it. I'm not reading a character, a, a manga, especially one that's going to be four chapters for the character designs. That's a fact. <laughs> All right. I don't, actually, I don't think Undead Unluck is that bad, though. Like, they finally, they moved away from, like, that etchiness, which is what they really needed to, because in the beginning it was a bit weird. But as it's gone on, it has gotten a little bit farther away, which is a lot better. Jujutsu Kaisen is just fucking insane right now i love every second of it man like oh this week's chapter oh my god it killed me it's all right i like it I'm, i like some other characters like gojo and nanami but other than that whew, whew. 
I'm not gonna say anything. I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but my God, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, but then, is there anything else you want to say about the TLC before we move on to the new series? Um, not really. I mean, I have a good eye for these things, so if I say <laughs> there it, it is pretty, pretty trash, I, I'm generally right on Your the money. Your word is law. Is that how that works? I wouldn't say it's law, but I'm. It's almost 100 percent correct. 100% of the time. <laughs> All right. Well, next up, we're going to get on to the new series in Shonen Jump, and that is High School Family Kokusei Kazuko by Ryo Nakanama, and it starts this Sunday. So, how, do you know what this series is about, or have you read it? No, but just looking at the artwork and the name and the synopsis, this is going to be axed oh, yeah. pretty fast. It probably will be. The chapters are pretty short, but I'm not going to lie. The first two chapters were pretty funny. So basically what this is, is this guy, this kid is going to school for his first time and or his first high school day. And he finds out that his dad's going to high school for the first time. And then as the next, then it finds out that his sister's also going there. Who's in third grade. And then his mom's going. And also the family cat is all going to high school. And it revolves around the shenanigans that they get in. It's just a gag, gag comp, gag comedy. And it's like, I think like 10 pages, everything. I don't think it's going to last that long. Good, because it looks uh, it looks like it, like a crappy manga. Not gonna lie. I don't like initially right now. I think it's funny because like it's a new gimmick, and I thought the gimmick was funny. But I think it's gonna run out very quickly, which is why I dropped. Uh, what is it? The way of the house husband, which I know you're still picking up, but that like the whole gag ran out on me, and it wasn't that funny anymore. How is that not funny? Because it, it's the same thing over and over again. Oh, he looks tough. Uh, what's he gonna do? Oh, he looks I like a Yazuka. Yeah, I love tough looking men. Three, Shut the heck up. You get three volumes in, you're like, okay, I get it. I, I get the How joke. How many volumes did you read? Three. You're wrong. Just let's go on. I'm not wrong. I'm right. I, I My word is law. Your words just may be correct sometimes. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. You're, so, you're so dismissive of what I say. Why are you so mean to me? Are we, is it, are we done with this uh, this topic? Are we? Yeah, we're are, you wanna, or you want to dwell on this one? Twitter this, was uh, loading, dude, so I had to stall before the thing. You don't up. have them all already opened up, and they your tab? are. They are. Then why are they loading? Because they reload. Because when you have a bunch of tabs open, some of them don't fully load. Uh huh. <laughs> you're, you're such an asshole. <laughs> All right, next up, we have Iridori Aqua, and they have done a price reduction on all their stuff because they have moved away from all their third-party sites. Now, for them, I think this is actually really smart because they way overpriced their stuff, in my opinion. Like, they had 32 pages. Like, that was the entire thing for, like, five, six bucks on there, which is insane for Jodenshi. I just cannot see anybody wanting to pay something like that. And even their bigger selections was, I think, like, their bigger titles had like maybe 132 pages but it's still like six seven eight dollars for that and that's a little bit better because at least it's 132 pages but when they were charging five dollars for like 30 pages it's insane i just cannot see people wanting to buy that uh i don't see anyone i don't see it why anyone would buy a doujinshi in the first place and that's my honest opinion so um you know i can't disagree with you on that to be honest like just buying 32 pages of like of anything it doesn't seem like it's worth it when you can get i don't know noragami fire force any like other big series that's really long that's a far uh, better. I, it just looks like it's just a horny it's just horny manga i mean i don't read horny manga so i i don't get it it's not all doujinshi's hentai yeah but most doujinshi is hentai <laughs> <laughs> I want to disagree with you, but you're, you're really not wrong. <laughs> the, but Iridori Aqua is like specifically their doujinshi site that doesn't have any hentai on it. That's the whole point of it. So like a lot of it's like, there's one series where, let me see, let me pronounce this right, because I'm going to say it wrong. It's called uh, Seiju Nakasumego, which you might actually like, because it's basically, there's a, um, it's a cop and a, what, a yokoza basically get together secretly, and that one's pretty good. But other than that, they really don't have much, much of anything. Does it have muscles? I don't know. I haven't read it that much. Not interested. Why are you obsessed with dudes' muscles so much? Babe? Who doesn't love genetically altered freaks? <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of that stuff, I would say. I can tell. <laughs> you know who is a fan of you, though? Neon. What do you say? I forgot what he said in my last podcast, but we were making the perfect hentai, and you, you were in it. So, Oh, he wanted you to dress up as a trap. 
I told I'm just... him I, I told him I'd tell you that. Well, thank well, thank you for telling me. No, no problem. I have no, com I have no comments on that at all. <laughs> Why? What? You don't have anything to say about it? I can't honestly say that I anything has crossed my mind, and when I heard that, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> okay. Let it go down the drain. We'll, we'll move on real quick. We'll move, we'll move on from that one. So Jesus Ghibli Kids Christ. announced. <laughs> Ghibli Kids announced that they are doing the English dub of the Night is Short Walk On Girl. Now this is one of the newest work. Well, not actually the newest. What is the newest work by them? It's uh, oh fuck. What I can't remember. It's the surfing manga or the surfing anime. But this one is basically. It's just about this girl who goes on for a night in the town, has a good time, wild things ensue. Very Masaki Yuesha. It's fantastic. But the thing with the sub is, it gets very hard to read it sometimes because there, there's stuff that just flies across the screen and you lose it. So the dub is going to be nice for it. And it's going to match the animation style, I think, pretty good. Depends on who's the uh, dub cast for it. But are you actually, how much anime do you actually watch, Base? I'm curious about that. Like zero. I assume so. I didn't think you were, like, into anime at all. I made it a goal to watch four shows a season in 2018, and I barely watched anything in 2019. I think I watched Quintessential Quintuplets, Kengen Ashura, My Hero Academia, Mob Psycho 100 Season 2, and probably something else that's I'm drawing a blank on. I don't I don't watch a lot of anime to be to be honest. I, I just read a lot of manga, but I know. I know the, you know, the Night is Short Walk on Girl is a very popular light novel that just released maybe not this year, but last year. I heard good things about it from that yeah. man and his merch. Um, but other than that, I had, I don't know, diddly squat about this. <laughs> all right. I didn't think so. I, I wasn't assuming so. You just seem all in on manga. And I've never actually heard you talk about anime that much. So I just didn't think you did it at all. And I was right. So... But this is actually pretty good. It's a movie. I think movies are a lot better. Whoa, whoa. Just flipped my whole phone. Over. But movies are a lot better, I think, for newer people to get into anime and manga for the most part just because they're quicker. And also, they usually don't have weirder things or weirder themes in it. Things like A Silent Voice or Your Name. But... I don't really believe that uh, Japanese animated movies are considered anime, so... Why? What, they're, why? They're just not anime. They're that just make animated any sense. movies. Please explain to me how, how they're not anime. Is a Disney movie a cartoon? Yeah. No, it's not. Why? Why is it not a cartoon? I just don't believe that you can classify anime and then animated movies as the same thing. There's different sections. Of, it's labeled in different sections on my anime list for a reason. What's anime uh, then? What, what is anime? What is stuff the, that's it's tv produced no no it, it's animation in japan it's not tv produced it's animation done in japan you asked me and then when i gave you an answer you because you're wrong because i knew you were gonna say, say something. then why would you even ask that if it, it was gonna it, be a rhetorical question uh because i wanted you to say the wrong thing and back you in a corner well i don't ever say the wrong thing ever you just did you just did live on cam all I know is that if you like, I've never seen Ghibli, I've never seen your name, and the only, I've seen A Silent Voice, and uh, I regret watching it because I don't watch sad stuff because I'm not, you know, you know, a little crybaby. <laughs> um, wow. And then I, and I watched Dragon Ball Z, or Dragon Ball Super Brawly, because it was manly. It had a lot of, it had a lot of muscles in it. So obsessed so. with dudes' muscles. How can, when, how can when you, are you gonna get big muscles, dude? Like, what are you talking about? I've gained thirty pounds since January. I'm, I'm, not, seeing, I'm not seeing it, man. I'm absolutely shredded. With those Juice. noodle arms? Are you kidding noodle me? Noodle arms, dude. <laughs> Pasta la vista, baby. <laughs> no way. <laughs> well, uh, all right, buddy. Uh, do you have anything else you want to say about this before we move on to the next? I've literally exhausted everything I possibly could say about this. I, I, I didn't have anything else to say anyway. But so we have a section specifically for you, Bay Senpai, since you are so knowledgeable about the manga community and what to do around it. We have a new segment called Learn from Senpai. And now this is for people out here who want to get their Japanese manga done in English officially. So what's the best way to convince English publishers to get their manga done in English? Mm. Or some of the ways. 
Well, do you want the truth or do you want me to BS for about for like two minutes? Dude, I, I, I don't care if you baby got not baby everybody. Tell everybody how it is. As an, a Western anime and manga fan, you're SOL out of luck, dude. You can't do jack crap to get anything licensed here. Uh, honestly, you can write and fill out surveys to these publishers and companies and pray, but honestly, it all it really only depends on whether or not the Japanese market decides to make an anime for it and promote that anime. Uh, the English market is purely driven on anime adaptations and popularity. Um, the only thing that really sells is mainstream stuff and a lot of the filler stuff that, you know, trickles down the drain is mainly just, uh, filler content, um, that really does, like, people don't have, they don't have any faith that actually it's going to push any numbers. So, uh, honestly, you really can't do anything. <laughs> Isn't it nice to be an M anime fan? But it's just because, what, is it because it's so small over here? There's just not enough, like, popular. Let's just put this in, let's put this into perspective. A successful manga sells, I think, like, the, the cutoff is, like, People want you want to push like ten thousand copies of a single volume of manga. Oh, yeah, that's not that much. That's, that's so not little. a lot. That's so little. And, and to put this in perspective, I think Viz had like thirty six volumes of manga that sold over fifteen thousand, and half of them were My Hero Academia. Wow. The the other companies had either, um, I think. Vertical had one, and it was that, uh, who's that, uh, Japanese lady who cleans? Japanese you know, lady who cleans? It was, oh. like, real, organize, like, organization and stuff. You know who I'm talking about. Oh, the, um, like, the Weeb's Guide to, like, Cleaning Up, or Japan's Guide to Cleaning Up. Yeah, that's the, at, ver, that was only, the Vertical's only title that sold over 10,000 copies, and it's not even really a manga. That, that's not really, no. Um, you have other stuff like Kodansha has like five titles that sold over 10,000 copies. Like Yen Press had like three or four. Seven Seas had only one and it was, or two, it was like uh, the Ancient Magus Bride and the Lesbian Experience one. Oh, Honestly, okay. I think about this, like that's 10,000 plus copies. Berserk, I believe, has only sold like 1.2 to like 2 million copies. Of all, like, there's third, like, forty volumes. It's only sold like two million copies out of all in the of them, United like, States. Combined? Yeah. Damn. Wow. I never. It, like, I you always see like how you're not. Like, we're we're not the first. Like, it's it's Japan, France, and then was it Germany? I think it's debatable in terms of Germany because Germany has a wider selection, but they get some of the, like the mainstream stuff like after us. So it's not it's hard to say because we don't have their numbers. But I'd say it, if I was going to make a bet, I'd say Germany was like slightly like slightly ahead of the United States, but it's relatively the same. France is, is definitely dwarfs us. And then obviously Japan, China and the eastern countries completely destroy us <laughs> shit on us. Yeah. It's sad. even shitty even shitty manga sell like three thousand copies in a in a day oh yeah so. even if they're not good but i mean that is like the home of manga so you do kind of expect it to do better yeah so honestly there's really you can fill out surveys and whatnot but honestly you also i a lot of people don't know this but when seven c's back in the day seven c's on their like um oh their surveys their monthly surveys. Their, their monthly surveys they actually had it somewhere advertised that you could not l recommend or uh series licensed from these like these main cup like head companies like even if you recommend something they're sometimes not even legally allowed to do it it's probably changed because obviously seven seas has gotten to la rue and yuna and the haunted hot spring so obviously something right. has changed but back in the day you had very limited options of what you could even recommend companies to license because of how it was um how boundaries and like licensing agreements were played out so yeah there's really not much you can do just hope hope it gets an anime that's really it just hope it gets an anime pray for the anime i mean it's sad to see it but the reality is what it is and people need to know the truth like there's mm -hmm. nothing you can do about it if there's nothing you can do about it, there's nothing you can do about it but that's all I really have to say for that. Do you have anything else you want to add, like closing remarks? 
Not really. I mean, it's really only driven by anime, guys. It's it's not what the consumer consumer is clamoring for. It's really how the anime works, and it just completely drives this industry. Uh, so uh, yeah. Yeah, if you wanna if you wanna get your manga published, start an anime or a manga boom in America and get millions of people reading it. Then maybe we'll get some opinions. But we are going to get into the next stuff, and that is right now Crunchyroll Expo. So there's a like two things before this, but it's mostly just the in press licensing. Because other than that, Crunchyroll Expo was fucking lame, and there was nothing really in there. But first up, we have Crunchyroll Adult Swim has announced at their virtual expo that they have. A 13 episode adaptation of the Shinmo, Shinmu series, which I have never played. Do you have you ever played the Shinmu series? Is this the is this a series of um that they did like a legendary Kickstarter form and yeah. then it raised so much money and then it ended up looking like a PS2 game? Yeah. You actually have faith in this company? I don't. I, I don't, but this is just I got an ad adaptation, so I'm interested to see how it's going to turn out. Because it was Shinmu 3, which had like that huge Kickstarter thing, and it just fucking was terrible from what I heard. Yeah, it bombed. It was a complete waste of money. Everyone should be completely, completely infuriated with that Kickstarter and the product they got. So, uh, honestly, Shenmue, not interested. Uh, good luck. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> yeah, I feel pretty much the same. I'm not really looking to interest this, but it's going to be on Adult Swim if you guys want to check it out. So, we're getting on to our next up, which I believe is all the Yen Press stuff. Yes, yeah, so first up, we have Yen Press announced that a couple days ago, August 31st, that they will simultaneously publish Nagatara Tanegawa's and Nozoi Ito's The Intuition of Haro Suzumiya, and they are going to reprint all of the Suzumiya series light novels on the Yen on in prints so this isn't this is going to be good for the series and i think yen press is actually making really smart moves right now they have this series they are doing solo leveling which was absolutely insane and might be a really big game changer for yen press but specifically about haru uh, suzumiya i'm actually going to check this out because i'm really excited to see it and i've heard a lot of people talk about how great this series is yeah it's it's one of the staple light novels it's one of the most legendary or at least iconic light novel names in the you know in the community and history uh it's a big name uh, i'm glad to see they're reprinting it there's obviously a lot of volumes for it um but yeah that's that's really it they uh will get it to it later but yen press is finally they've locked up the holy trinity of what people want so Dude, i mean yen press has like always been light novel based and we'll get more onto that because their last light novel is huge what they're doing what they finally got licensed for it but we're going to next up and that is id invaded like you're saying before about having a series get an anime adaptation once id invaded came out they have announced they are going to license the manga spinoff of id invaded brake broken which i don't know what it's about i think it's not a tie it's a tie-in to the series and it's not based on the series so i don't know how this really revolves around the id invaded universe but personally when i watched the anime i enjoyed it i think the ending was a little bit lackluster and kind of got a little bit out there but overall it was a good sci-fi series so we'll see how id invaded ends up turning out i don't know if this will be good for people who haven't seen the anime since it's a tie-in but i'm not really sure about that yeah, I I dropped the anime after two episodes, so I, you didn't I, like I, it? I no, it was too too much stuff going on. Dude, too much. Stuff. Awesome, bro. Sci-fi. What I sci think about sci-fi is, is what you think about Muslim dude. men. What? Are you insane? You know oh. what? I, when I think of sci-fi, I think of mechs and big old weenies no, flying in them because they so don't have funny. the muscle Sex mass. <laughs> mechs are terrible, bro. Never but seen. Do not I've never seen a jacked up sci-fi pilot in my life. Why would I even read this stuff? I don't even watch it. What? All what? I know Why is- Why trying to watch Mecca? I'm not. No one's no, no one's trying. Did you misunderstood, like mistake me for Flip Otaku? Yeah. Like, <laughs> of course not. I'm not into that stuff. I'm just saying it's from like my uneducated opinion that I've never seen a jacked dude flying uh, anything in space ever in my life. Uh, I, I can't I, I can't say that you're wrong because I don't check out mechas, but saying the sci-fi genre is bad because of mechas, you can't take one bad thing about the whole genre and place it as the entire thing. You're generalizing too much. That's what I mean. People are doing it these days anyways. Why can't I? Because <laughs> you're wrong. Sci-fi is so good. Dimension W. 
ID Invaded. Ah, uh, now I gotta think of a bunch of series on the spot that I can't think of. Dimension W. That's a really you good. Just, you I said like, that one already. I know, because I can't think of any other one at the moment. Because there's none other ones that are even remotely worth remembering. I don't even know why you read Dimension W. Dimension W is so good. It's fucking amazing, bro. It's got above a 7.5, so Mr. Mailboy, it's actually good in your opinion, too. Yeah, okay. You want to say it's bad? Are you going to go against your lord and save your mail? It's sci-fi. It um, automatically drops 0. 0.5 points. So what about uh, what about Blue Exorcist, since you hate Exorcist manga? Extra, Blue Exorcist sucks, too. No, it doesn't, though. Okay, if it drops 0. 0.5, it's an 8 now. It's still good. Blue Exorcist sucks. What? What is this? It sucks. Get. It let's suck. move it along. <laughs> All right, we'll get on to the next stuff, and that is the rest of the stuff that Yen Press has released for this. So they announced that they have nine manga and then one light novel license. So first up, they have "Do You Like the Nerdy Nurse?" and this is the summary: the beaut the beauty in the nurse's office is a secret nerd who doesn't hide it very well. Nico Momoyama is the newly appointed school nurse, but beneath her gorgeous facade lies an unmistakable love for all geeky things. Is a ro And this series is a rom romantic comedy that includes many funny otaku references in addition to a very pretty nurse. I don't care about this. I'm not going to buy it. I really if you don't. want an otaku manga, read Watakote. Dude, I was just about to say, Watakote is so much better than whatever this is going to be. Yeah, this, this sucks. Go on to the next one. Okay, okay, thank you for your permission. Next up we have Love and Heart. So, the summary for this is, sure, university freshman Yagasawa has a lot on her plate, but the last thing she expected to add was a surprising su surprise male roommate. Handsome Haruma claims to be a childhood friend, but for some reason, Yagasawa doesn't remember him at all. And his history isn't the isn't the only oddity. Disturbing things begin to happen, and Yagasawa may really be in over his head love and heart is a manga that falls under the category of shoujo horror a subgenre that has rarely made its way into english huh shoujo rarely being in english you you know how the shoujo people are based so what do you want to say about this one uh i mean uh, what, <laughs> what can i possibly say about shoujo that i haven't already uh, already said so um shoujo horror i don't know how they're gonna do it shoujo as a genre is already a horror so um <laughs> Uh, we'll see we'll see well it's gonna be interesting i'm definitely another one i'm not gonna pick up this next one i actually am interested in and this is called the uh, days on fest when high schooler katade sora takes her classmate ota yamana to their first rock festival their experience is greater than they can even imagine it's a new life of rocking out it's just a music festival manga and i love concerts and i love festivals and stuff so i'm interested to see how they'll adapt this into a manga i hate stuff like this why you don't like music manga no music manga sucks there's not a good one like the whole concept and premise of a music manga a manga is lost because it's there's no music it's just what if you're not creative or an, uh, like just you're just have no creativity or you can't even have a vivid imagination to even recreate what's going on in the pages in your head this is going to go over your head i it, it makes no sense to me i think uh your lie in april as a manga trash that trash that's regarded uh, as like one of the best mangas of all time all i gotta say is if it involves music and it's in a manga form it's trash nah nah i'll say it all every single one wow i i, I can't agree with you i I, th I do agree with you to a certain extent that it's a lot harder to enjoy a music manga rather than a music anime but to say <laughs> to say they're all bad is a it's a strong statement. You're trying to sit here and tell me about these two idiots going to a music festival, and I'm supposed to like it? I don't I relate didn't say to you. I have to like it. I'm not I don't, even saying that. I don't. I don't. Really, they're eating French fries, and it looks like they're drinking cola or no, possibly that's beer. Uh, yeah, that's alcohol, buddy. Yeah, I'm not interested at all. This is degenerate territory. I'm not interested. Dude, people you post so much take, that etchy manga on your, people, on your Instagram. Dude, people take drugs at these concerts. This is not a good standard. I do not approve. <laughs> when did Holy Base come back? I, I miss this character. I remember this. 
Oh, man. Well, then you're probably not gonna like this next series, and it's called The Girl Without a Face. And the summary is, her boyfriend thinks that she's the cutest girl around, but her expressions can be a bit hard to read. The Girl Without a Face is a cute yet eccentric manga about a boy and his faceless girlfriend with horror elements such as the presence of yokai and a slice of life storyline. And it appeals to fans with both categories, according to this description. But basically, it, I've heard that there's nudity in this manga. So I don't know what's gonna entail with that. Just looking at this manga, it looks like it's a steaming pile of turds. So like this doesn't look good. Also, this doesn't look good. And I, someone posted another work of this author, and it is it's bad. Is it? It's bad. I believe. Um, <laughs> let me see if I can find. Um, let me read this for you. All right, read it for me. Nishimori Toru, who is the 31-year-old, an unattractive office worker, is married to the most beautiful woman in the company, Mika-san. From the outsider's point of view, they would be envious of him. However, he has a secret he cannot tell anyone about. The only female he knows is Mika, but Mika knows lots of other men. Because he loves her, he is bothered by this fact. It's not possible, and it will never come true. After fa falling off the train tracks... A miracle occurred. This is a twisted, but a youthful and pure love story about he who longs for his wife's virginity. What? Wait. <laughs> Wait. By the same person. I. I and all I, I all I know is the categories are beautiful female lead, fat male lead, high school jealousy, married couple, reincarnated in the past, self conscious, ugly male lead, virgin. <laughs> um, this sounds like a like a NTR hentai. Yeah, all I gotta know is this: if you pick this up, you're probably a degenerate, and I don't want to associate with you in the slightest. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll move on to our next one for that. I, I wasn't that interested in it, but I mean, that second one is really strange. That I did not know he also made that. It's an interesting second title. But next up we have I Can't Reach You. Now this is, I believe, a, ble a BL title. So the difference between Yamato and Kuriku couldn't be more obvious. Yamato gets good grades while Kuriko are less than average. And while Yamato is very attractive, Kur Kakuru looks are very are perfectly average. Not a problem. Whoa, what the fuck? Not a problem unless you're in love with your childhood best friend. How in the world can Kakuru make Yamato look at him when Yamato is completely out of his league? I can't reach you as a B. It's a BL title, and I'm not a fan of BL. You know, I don't really care about this at all. I've read one BL title in my days. It's called um, Classmates. Classmates. I've seen yeah. your manga hauls. I've read it. I own it. I reviewed it, at least on Instagram. It's all right. Never I, think, I think the whole there's a lot of uh pandering to certain things people would like in those kind of manga however uh they're not for me i, I usually they're a, the the boys are a little bit more feminine um and i'm all about the masculinity so you're about all the muscly men but i see i think yuri kind of does the same thing with like appealing to the fantasy of, of that especially with things like ntr or other series like that I can't think of any Yuri title. There's one Yuri title that I'm interested in that's coming out this year, but every other like Yuri title I've heard of, I just don't care about. The only ones I've read are um, Girlfriends, Citrus, and I watched Soccer a Trick. I've never heard of that last one. Soccer a Trick's pretty good. It's for cultured men. Is it? Is yeah. there muscly dudes in it? And nope, but the girls Man, are it pretty. Can't, it can't be that good. Is that the why you like my love story? The one with, like, the big dude? Yeah, my love story is peak shoujo romance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll get on to our next one right here, and this is Play It Cool Guys. Enter a bunch of cool guys who look like they got in, uh, that unapproachable swag. But let's be real, that's not true That's not true for them. They're, they're just a bunch of dorks who got their act down. So sit back, grab some pop popcorn, and enjoy watching a bunch of goofy guys try to look cool all day every day and it's a it's a comedy of short stories and i believe it's also a it might be multiple volumes it looks like it is it's also in full color i just saw that yeah so what do you think about this one base um uh this is um not for me um you don't think so no i think this one is uh definitely aimed at women um just like by the day of high school boys that one is definitely not 
for women. Uh, that one is, I mean, the first page is them wearing women's clothing. So, um, this one definitely has more, uh, this one definitely isn't going to be funny in, in a way. I think this is going to be more cute boys doing cute things. Oh, I would, okay. So we'll move on to our next one, and that is Penguin Gentleman, and that is Innocent. Now this is what I'm talking about. Not, Let me not, take we over. finally got one you like? Summary. In a certain secret <laughs> bar, the penguin gentlemen work wearing their long-tailed tuxedos. You say it's cute how penguins waddle around? <laughs> we're not just cute. We're dandy, sexy, and marvelous. And on the cover of this one is just the oh, biggest Barra Barra man ever. There he is. There Chiseled jawline and everything muscular muscles <laughs> what are you a john deere commercial just oh my god i won't pick this up but it's definitely i like the cover you're not gonna I pick like. this up there's a muscly dude you're totally going back on your whole thing yeah but i don't really experiment that much i have to at least look at the mouth in your mind oh my god the whole man. basing your opinion on males zero out of ten <laughs> You, get, you don't even get a good mouse score on that. It's the for the truly enlightened. Is it? Yep, you wouldn't know anything about it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll get on to our next one, and that is the light novel. Or actually, this one's just a regular novel. It's called Virgin Road. The, the lost ones are wanderers who come for here from a distant world known as Japan. No one knows how or why they leave their homes. The only thing that is certain is that they bring disaster and calamity. The duty of exterminating them without remorse falls to Minnow, a young ex executioner. When she meets Akiri, it seems like a, just another job until she discovers it's impossible to kill this girl. And when Minnow begins to search for a way to defeat this immortality, Akiri is more than happy to tag along. So it begins a journey that will change Minoi forever. Minu. In addition to beginning an intriguing addition to it, oh, it's an isekai genre. It's an isekai yuri genre. Uh, manga or n novel it's okay it sounds okay it's nothing that i really care about yeah no not for me it has i mean i relate to the title but that's about it version road <laughs> dude okay di uh, real quick before we get on to this last title did you watch any of like the licensing event that went on for this no okay so after this the Press and kodansha did like this like weird versus thing and for some reason, like, the chat got disabled because everybody in the uh, comments kept just p spamming anal over and over again until they just completely disabled the comments on that thing. So that was fun to watch. And, wow. Like, I don't, there was nothing good in the event. It was just basically them going, yes, we have good title. And, th and then they go, yes, we They never good have good titles unless it's actually the last one we're about to cover. All right, let's get on to the, bat the last one. And this is probably the biggest thing I would say. Would you say this is bigger than solo leveling getting announced? No, but it's pretty big. All right, so for this, we have the Data Live novels are getting released in English. Shudu Is 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 Itsuki has a problem. The world has been racked by massive quakes of unknown source for years now. Though life goes on, then one day, Shindu cal Shindu's calm life ends forever when, in the middle of a quake in the city, he meets a girl who apparently, a, who's apparently a spirit and the cause of all the destruction. When a team arrives to eliminate the threat, Shindu em becomes embroiled in a war to protect these spirits by making them fall in love with him. So, based on... The anime who's based on this is finally getting licensed in English. Why did this take so long? Do you have any idea? Probably cost a lot of money, dude. This is a very big light novel in um, Japan. Uh, there's like a holy trinity. Like High School DXD just got licensed. Now Data Live got licensed as well. There's honestly not really any other light novels that are going to probably wow the mainstream audience or the casual fan anymore unless something blows up relatively recently but they've got yen press is pretty much ha has all every big uh light novel series now they live on light novels that's their main that's what i was gonna say earlier it's like their main source of income for them is their light novels not the manga well no not the most part, like what they have uh, Suba. now they have data live i'm trying to think of all their light novels now and i can't think of them all i think they have torture Princess, but i don't think that's still in no. You gotta realize, first off, when Yen Press announced Yen on 
they had uh, two or three. They had like Index, uh, Spice and Wolf, Sword Art Online, and that was like it. That was all they. That's all the light novels they had. Now they've obviously expanded. They have Overlord. They have um, like every other big isekai that comes out, like No Game No Life, Snafu, uh, Goblin Slayer, ReZero, Slime, uh, Spider. They they have a bunch of good stuff. Um, I think I missed Konosuba as well, but whatever. I saw uh, Konosuba before, so hey, I know my stuff. The only light novels like. Vertical has Monogatari, which is big, and then Seven Seas has Classroom of the Elite, which is big. But other than that, Yen Press literally has everything else. So they yeah. run the light novel scene, pretty much. Yeah, but even then, their manga Yen Press's manga is still pretty uh, admirable. Black Butler still sells relatively well to the Fujos. Um, they obviously have every isekai manga under the name of this in the in the, in the world. So um, they get so many isekais. Oh my god! Yeah, they have some etchy titles still. I don't I don't buy a lot of Gen Press manga anymore. Prison School has ended. Uh, pff, what what else do I have that's Yen Press? Soul Leader was originally Yen oh, Press. Uh, Dimension and, uh, W's Yen Press. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm talking. Hold on. <laughs> high School DX or High School the Dead was. Seven or yen press i don't know they i don't know they they definitely don't have a lot of stuff i look forward to any, as much anymore but they i do have some other titles in my in my collection so yep well all right then i think that is everything for the whole yen press release i think that's every single good thing that happened in crunchy relax book because everything did not really that was pretty much it there there was really nothing else that go, goes on besides this last thing and that is just some quick little thing about mangamo is announcing or their plan is to get their title or their app released worldwide i don't know if this includes a google play app do you know what mangamo is before i go further or I'm, I'm, it's a dead app right I mean, kind of, yeah. So what happened was right at the beginning, for people who don't know about Mangamo, it's basically just they're trying to get a bunch of, like, all the manga, basically become the Netflix of manga. But they, when they first released it, their app was broken as hell, and they had to re-put it into beta, and it's only on the App Store right now. You can get it for, like, five bucks a month in, like, all their titles. They have, like, Kodansha. They have a bunch of other things. But the thing is, with Mangamo, they also have a ton of money that can go into it because they got, like, the they have the Hulu invested in it viz media kodansha a bunch of like japanese companies like manga companies for that so there's a lot of money going into it and a lot of potential for it to get better and bigger but right now it is pretty dead it will never be big you don't think so no it won't do you think there will be any mon any app or anything like that that will nope. close to a netflix manga <laughs> nope never i don't think so either there's too many big companies in Japan that have all the titles under their belts, and I don't see them ever coming together and working together. And uh, honestly, the U.S. market for manga is shit anyway, so why would they even make a, a agreement for the U.S.? It makes no sense. So it will never happen, and I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty positive I'm right on that one. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. It's too anti-competition. I can't see. And plus, everyone would get in fights about how much money they're owed and who deserves to get what on the app. It'd be a nightmare for that. But I have that's it I have to say about that. Do you want to say anything else about Mungmo? Nope, I do, do not care about Mungmo. Okay. All right. We're going to get on to next up, the September manga releases. And when the, I, right now, base, I have all the stuff pulled out that are the original, like, volume one so the series that you want to specifically talk about i'll leave it open to the floor for you at the end to talk about all your series because i know you have a bunch and i couldn't remember them so we're gonna start wow. off oh, what are you gonna say no nothing just wow thanks for remembering my titles buddy i know grand blue dreaming volume 11 was on there and i think my hero Acad i don't think my hero academia comes out this month so i don't remember anything other than that Jeez. all right go on <laughs> it's been two weeks 
So first off we have we swore we meet to meet in the next life and that's when things got weird This is a reverse isekai and a josai so long ago princess yuko and her knight Harold fell deeply in love But their social st stations kept them apart So they swore that they would meet in the next life and they'd be together now reborn in the modern world Yukio has been searching for Harold for nearly 40 years just as she's on the verge of giving up She finds him only discovered that he's still in high school pounding hearts abound in the first volume of this reincar reincarnation age gap rom-com What's up with these age gap mangas? I don't really get it. I don't know. Women love it because they're degenerates. No. <laughs> I, I, don't, I just never get like, oh, he's in high school and I'm 40. So this is awesome. This is like something I'm going to see on the news for like a 40 year old teacher getting arrested. It's a double standard. That's what it is. It really is. Because if, if, if you switch the roles, every they would freak out and be like, this is yeah, so disgusting. Wrong. I hate like, it. So, something like, oh, what was it? After the rain? Would they have the age gap in that? Makes me sick. I can't believe people enjoy that crap. <laughs> All right, we'll get on to our next one right here, and that is Yoshino Zirika. The frog in the well does not know the ocean. Now, this is by the creator of Barakamon, I believe. So, 32-year-old Tono Narahiko has been scraping by as a manga creator for 10 years. And when his latest series gets canceled, he finds himself at a crossroads. Tono's always had his sights set on fantasy, but this time around, his editor set on another idea. Slice of Life story set in a remote village is not unlike the one where he was born and raised as a child. Could a return to his roots be the change he needs, the, cha the change of pace of our reclusive manga creator? So, it's about a failing manga creator trying one last thing to become relevant it sounds interesting for it i i think barakamon did pretty well and it sounded like a pretty good series but i've never actually checked that one out i hate manga that are about manga being made really the only one that i've really enjoyed that's like that is bakuman just because it was like a really good look into the industry in like, bakuman sexist don't don't you don't want to mention that is bakuman sexist yeah, man, the girls have to put aside their dreams for the men. Oh, is that like a is that like a whole thing? <laughs> okay. Yeah, man, be careful, don't. Never mind. Uh, I, I, you know, I'll just I'll, I'm gonna move on from that topic before I get myself in more trouble. So next up, we're gonna get start get on to King of Eden. Now this, I believe, is a manhwa. And this is enters enter entire villages are going up in flames across the go with the same man left standing at the scene every time meanwhile rumors abound of a highly contagious virus where those infected fly into a blind rage killing anything and everything that crosses their path as death tolls rises agencies from nations around the world get together looking for the answers how are these incidents connected who is that man and most importantly can the massacres be stopped before humanity is doomed so this is like I don't know. I think this is more like a fantasy horror. I don't think this is like has a sci-fi twist on it. But I like the I like the synopsis for it. I pre-ordered it. I'm interested to see how it will turn out. Uh, I mean, I'm not getting it. I know because you're extremely closed-minded. I'm more open to trying new things, unlike you. Yeah, well, you pick up a lot of trash, so I, it's understandable. Someone's got to find the gold, and if you don't dig through the trash, how are you going to find the good stuff? Yeah, I could just, you know, type on, you know, you know, I could just type away on my anime list and find uh, and quality find manga. No, no. You, you don't understand, man. Sometimes below 7.5 is a true 10. That said no one ever. I just did right now, and that statement is standing, and I'm going to stand by that statement forever now. But anyway, next up we'll get into Heaven's Design Team. In, Heaven, in Heaven's Animal Design Department, designers create a variety of new animals daily while contending with the unreasonable requests of their client, God. Funny, interesting, and full of in useful, useful information, this series answers the questions such as, why can't unicorns exist? What makes an animal taste delicious? What's the most, import what's the most powerful creature in the ocean? Basically, it's just a comedy manga about people in heaven creating the animals that live on the earth. It seems like a nice, fun comedy manga. I don't know if I'll end up buying it, but it has a nice synopsis and a general good overall theme, I think. So what do you think about that, base? Why aren't you going to buy it? Uh, because it looks too cutesy. It looks bad. Um, not enough muscly men. There's not enough muscles. I mean, it doesn't, like... Heaven's design theme. The, come on. 
give me something. I don't. I want something entertaining. I don't want something. Uh, I, I'm stupid. Gonna, well, yeah, when we get there, I'll let I'll let you know, buddy. Because <laughs> I don't know what's gonna interest you at this point. Because I don't think there's any muscly men coming out this month. So. Uh, well, you'd be wrong. So. Well, any on. new muscly men volume one series well new manga sucks dude it's uh, it, like there's no good new manga i mean we're you guys are gonna run down there there's if if which then which uh <laughs> made in honey uh what else do we got i mean for real what do we have here i think the only one that's kind of interesting is the girl with the senpaku eyes that's just what i was just that's the what i'm on right now so we'll talk about that in, right now amini mizuno is struggling with her social life to her friends and family she's a shy diligent girl but to her classmates her face screams intense mean and maybe standoffish so when amine falls for her classmate kanto her whole world seems to get flustered and agitated i like the idea of it I, it's just like 16 dollars for like 130 pages it, unless it's full color because i think it might be a full color manga I have no idea. I like the one with the shark eyes or the shark mouth. That's the one. Uh, the one with a shark mouth. Oh, yeah. Like this story. No, there's a there's a, instead of shark eyes, there's a girl with a shark mouth, and uh, I like her. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Is that in English? No. Okay, I didn't think so, but I do know what you're talking about. So next up, we have Sa Sa Sayonara Football. This is by the creator of Your Lion April. A statement Faith made earlier of how it's such a bad. <laughs> What? What do you want to say about it? It's gonna suck. What? This is gonna suck. This is? Yeah, I mean, come on. Wait, come on, let's be- come on, let's be real here. Why is it gonna suck, base? What is this, a, a soccer manga? It is. <laughs> Does it have cute boys in it? it? I don't know, I haven't read it. Well, if it doesn't, it's probably gonna fail. It is, uh, it's about a girl who is, in high school, she wants to play on the boys' team, and as she grows, as she's, like, getting older, she's not as strong as the boys or whatever. She can't keep up in the sport, and then she's slowly, like, fading out of, like, being able to play it with them, and it's, like, her coming to terms with, like, not being as good as soccer as everybody else. That's well, no, she just go play, she can just go play with the girls. I mean... She wants to play with the boys, man. You better watch out. You're gonna get labeled sexist, just like me, apparently. I mean, what's so sexist about it? I mean, I mean you already get the like, shoujo girls hate you anyway, so. Well, they they don't like facts and truth. <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean, you're not wrong. That whole situation is kind of funny that you got. I can't believe you got into it with all of them. So, next up, we're gonna get into Masen Ikoku. This is by Rumiko Takahashi. So this is. <laughs> Yasuku Godai didn't get accepted into college on the first try, so he's starting to retake the entrance exam, but living in a dilapidated building full of eccentric and noisy tenants is making it hard for him to achieve his goals now that a beautiful woman has moved in to become a new residential manager. Godai is driven to distraction. Now, Rumiko Takahashi, if you guys know, did Inuyasha, Renman and a Half, and I, don't, I think I'm missing one. I'm not sure. But this one was supposed to come out in July. I'm actually, I am excited for this one too. I am actually going to pick this one up. Good for you, buddy. Thank you, Bass. I, I'm, gl I'm glad you like it. Let's hurry it up to, so I can get oh, cover like the good stuff. Uh, I will. You, you want me just to talk about it myself real quick and not pan it over to you? So, cause yep, because I literally, there's cube arts. Sure. What are you going to talk about? Some uh, cube arts, some Minecraft. Like, come on, let's, let's get, cube, let's cube wrap it up. A little bit long. I, I, I got you, base. I, I'll, I'll hurry it up for you, okay? Who says who says warriors can't be babes? And this is just a. Oh um, my god! What? It's it's a new. It's, it's, I read. I saw like a pic, like a panel of this. This is Jesus Christ. She's Go the strongest on, warrior, and she wants to get the hero to fall in love with her, but she the hero doesn't see her as a woman, so he's try, She's trying to be cur girly, and it's a rom com about that. Next up, we have. Fly Me to the Moon, Volume 1. Now, this I, manga, I, like, I hate. I can't get past Chapter 1 for this. Basically, this guy see, this guy sees a girl just randomly one day, instantly falls in love with her, and also he hates that his name's NASA. And that's the entire thing. It's like, love at first sight, his name's NASA, and it's a rom-com. There's nothing more to it than that. It does, It's not that good. I, I hate Chapter 1. I can't get past this. Past Chapter 1. Next up, we have with a dog and a cat. Every day is fun. This is just something that I think that man is merch with bike. I think this is up his alley. Basically, it's just a dog and a cat go around getting the ant getting into antics. It's a nice collection of comedy stories. Next up, we have Pop Life. 
and this is basically by the new stu uh, new manga publisher Starfruit Books. So it, this the what is the synopsis? Sakura and Akami are two single mothers in their forties who decided to start living in order to help each other raise their children. Take a deep dive into their everyday lives and find out what it takes to live a humble yet peaceful life as a single parent in Japan. Interesting synopsis. Maybe if it's cheaper, I'm not going to pay 10 bucks for it, but it is an interesting thing. And if you want to support a new publisher, check out Pop Life. I believe they are doing a physical edition. It's on right stuff, but I don't know if they have a specific date set up for it. And then last up for it, we have Cubarts, and that is high school high school first year taco has been selected as the beta tester for the new sandbox style video game cubarts and he couldn't be happier as soon as he puts on the game's vr headset takako finds himself immersed in a sprawling world made entirely of blocks where he can mine build and hunt to his heart's content but when a logout error traps him in he and his friends inside the game Takako discovers even sandboxes can be deadly. I think Zach was excited for this one. But that is all the stuff that is coming out in September. Now, base, the floor is open to you. Please tell us all the good time. Oh, about time. I really almost fell asleep listening to all that. Um, let's see. You're the such good... a hater, base. You're so close-minded. The the good stuff coming out. We have High Q Volume 40. We have uh, one, two, three more volumes of haiku left after this until that caps off and end to the great a phenomenal series we have kaguya sama love is war volume 16 arguably the greatest shonen Anime is better uh it's arguably the greatest uh, rom-com to ever grace the face, the face of the earth it is number one most discussed manga on our manga and uh that generally means that it's the most popular so uh, my Dress Up Darling, Volume 2, a fantastic volume. I got my hands on that one earlier this week. Read it. Uh, a lot of juiciness. Uh, I really like where they're going with that. The Quintessential Quintuplets, Volume 10. Um, I believe you have 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, so you have four more volumes left after this one. Uh, probably the best Probably the second best shonen romance, only to Kaguya-sama. Neji Harada is an absolute genius. And if you aren't reading Quintessential Quintuplets, you're a loser. Um, the Saint Young Men Onubis Volume 3, the cover is really pretty. I think it's an important manga to read, uh, despite um, the context of it, uh, dealing with the religious tones. Spy X Family Volume 2 uh, continues to be very, very funny. Uh, let's see, um, scrolling up, we have the Seven Deadly Sins, Volume 39, I'm really excited for this cover, we have Escanor donning the cover in his, uh, night form, and then in the back you have his midday peak noon form, looking absolutely jacked. There's uh, the muscly men thing. <laughs> uh, let's see what else, I think we have, uh, Beastars, Volume 8 some uh, i'm not a furry stuff uh, hell's paradise volume four is a really cool cover i think it's it's a new shonen jump series or it's i believe it's a jump plus series and it's one Are of the number eight no oh. hell's paradise jingo oh. kuraku uh it's a fantastic manga shonen jump plus. yes yes that, that's what i said that is what i said my friend you uh, sure, so i confirmed it for you you're welcome well, hey, whatever kid um but yeah, it's like Blade of the Immortal and um, stuff like that. Um, you have the last volume of Ping Pong coming out. Uh, it's all right. Way of the House Husband Volume 4. Cannot wait. Overrated. Cannot wait for more of that because it's hilarious. Um, let's see. Really, nothing else compatents uh, will be dispatched Volume 4. I haven't read Volume 1 of them the manga or the light novel but it's done by the same people who like konosuba and it's a little bit more um gross i guess um let's see and then the last one we have oh well we have kakagiri twins which is just the side story to Ma uh, mary or mari um not i don't really like sites like spinoffs so i don't read it and i believe the last one is um grand blue dreaming Oh, actually, no. Tomo Chan is a Girl Volume 8. The final volume of this series is coming out. It's a four coma series, one of the best, or at least one of my personal favorite rom coms. Triage X20 continues to be garbage, but I still pick it up anyways. 
And then uh, last but not least, we have Grand Blue Dreaming Volume 11, arguably the funniest manga that is currently out in English. And that concludes the releases that I'm interested in. Oh, oh, you, you finished? Cool. I, I almost fell asleep there. I, 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 now I know how it feels. Yeah, but... <laughs> All right, we're gonna get into our last segment right here, and that's a little bit of shout out thoughts. And I, ha as many of you guys know, if you've seen this channel, my favorite manga of all time is Norikami, and my friend over here has recently been reading it. So, what I think you're on volume 16, you said. So, how are you enjoying it? Yep, I am on uh, volume 15 or 16. I do not remember. Um, I've been reading it. I've been doing a buddy read on Instagram with a friend of mine, and we've been reading one or two volumes here and there for the past month or two. Um, really loving it. Uh, I was honestly surprised. I think some of my favorite characters are obvious, obviously um, Hiro and Hiori. And uh, Yato is, is another personal favorite of mine. Um, I like the the bimbo chick or the goddess of luck. I forget her name. Oh, um, no, you mean the goddess of misfortune, Kafuku? Yeah, I love her. I love that bitch too. So, um, yeah, I, I really like it. It's very dark, surprisingly. Uh, dives deep into some topics that, you know, people might not be comfortable with. But, uh it's a great manga i have i have it's actually i bought the first volume of it when it originally came out and i think late 2015 2014 whenever the heck it came out and i actually picked up every single volume up to volume 14 as they came out and then but i never read it so uh it sat on my shelf unread for about four four years damn four years it took you that long to read it yep i had them both Dude, you missed out. You were missing no. out. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't miss out on anything. You were. You were missing out on that for four years. So good. So, oh, so I don't want us to go into spoilers, but... Well, well don't! So, I'm reading it! You want me to talk about what happened in the no. latest volume? No. Okay, so Okay, so this is what happens, right? I'm about <laughs> to hang up this phone call. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's so good. The art and characters, everything about it. Basically, what he, what he said, I pretty much agree with, but to an exaggerated extent. But it's so good. It, if you have not read Noragami, if you like your shonen, you like battles, you like darker series, any type of shonen in any way, you will love this series because it's top tier on every level. Yato is one of the best characters in all of manga in my opinion and i mean he already beat shimonan kafuku it's got waifus out of the wazoo my god the fights are top tier so memorable so many good so many good things and even the side characters like like ebisu and i'm not gonna not even gonna try to pronounce some of the other gods names because i'm gonna butcher them but they're just so good everything about this series makes you fall in love with it and if you've not gotten the chance to read it trust me just just go do it please but any closing statements you would like to make about Noragami? Nope, I have nothing else to say about Noragami. I am not even, I am not finished, so I don't have a comment on it. All right, sounds good to me. Well, that about wraps us up for this. So, Base, thank you so much for coming out. Please make sure to go into the links in the description and be sure to check out his channels, Twitter, and get to see all his super opinionated things. And, Base, do you have anything you'd like to say before ending this? Nope. Don't call oh. me. I don't like you. All right. Thank you. I, I, but I, I love you, though, Base. It may be one-sided, but I, I'll keep my feelings inside. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate it. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you feel I deserved it, go to the link in the description. Hit the podcast arc and subscribe because that is where all these are going from now on. And anyway, as always. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>